Yo, what's up? It's your boy Currency365. Hope you guys are doing well. Legends never die. They stay in our hearts. Uh, if you want to support us, click the like button, subscribe to the channel, and also you can come down here and hit the join button uh, under the video uh, or in our channel uh, section. And you can also join our Patreon, patreon.com slash currency365. And uh, we also have Cash App and also PayPal uh, for support if you want to sell some seeds. Peace out. God bless. Enjoy the video and keep the movement going. Legends. Bye. All right, all right. Welcome back to Currency 365. Hope you guys are doing well. Long community, USTC community. Here we go. All right. There's not much to talk about today. I don't really have nothing to talk about. Yesterday, I did a little talk with you guys yesterday and with the community. And um, and today, uh, did you guys see yesterday? We, we you see this big old rally here. Um, this was because Bitcoin was rallying. And Bitcoin went back to 70,000 and Lunk was following it. And so a couple of coins were actually following Bitcoin to the upside, which was kind of weird because a lot of times that doesn't happen. When, when money's pouring into Bitcoin and Bitcoin is trying for that 70,000 again and try to break through it, um, you, usually the altcoins will, will, you know, come fall back, right? Will fall back. And because money's coming out of the altcoins to go into Bitcoin, that didn't happen last night, as you can see here on the chart. We actually was running with Bitcoin, uh, and that usually doesn't happen. So, and then and then Bitcoin was dumped from seventy thousand um, because, of course, there's some people out there um, that are just constantly dumping Bitcoin every time it go gets to you know the sixty thousand, sixty nine thousand, seventy thousand. They're constantly waiting for that area and then they're dumping it and uh, i i am thinking that's the it's the united states government and other governments in the world that are that you know that are anti bitcoin or whatever the case may be they could be dumping the bitcoins that they have there i don't know either way um once it dumped and then bitcoin retraced back we actually retraced back with bitcoin so it's very interesting that we're following bitcoin all of a sudden because we were doing our own thing and then all of a sudden, I'm like, why is Luna Classic running with Bitcoin now, right? And so a bunch, some of some some of the tokens last night were running with Bitcoin, um, and that usually doesn't happen. So Luna Classic was running with Bitcoin yesterday, and now they pulled back with Bitcoin. I wonder what's going to happen now. Do we can are we going to continue to run with Bitcoin? So if Bitcoin breaks through seventy thousand this time around, and it starts heading towards seventy five to eighty thousand. Are we going to do the exact same thing? Are we going to break through here? Um, apparently, the Ethereum ETF is could be announced this month. Um, they're saying on the 23rd, so that's going to be interesting. Will Ethereum ETF be passed this month? I think the 23rd is the deadline. Um, and um, so Ethereum ETF. So we might, you know, we, we could see Bitcoin break, finally break through that 70,000 and head towards 80,000. Or we could see Bitcoin just stumble along and just go sideways here, and the markets just go sideways until that Ethereum, uh, until that Ethereum uh, date, which is the twenty third. If that is if that is true, and that Ethereum's um, deadline here for the SEC uh, ETF, uh, e e the Ethereum ETF by the SEC has to be made on the twenty third. If that's true, then maybe the markets rally into that. Or mar markets could rally into that. All coins could go here, or we could just sit still. Um, until the until the until the, the announcement, right? And uh, if if uh, and if if could break through and and had and this anticipation of the buy the rumor sell the news event, uh, or if could just say stay sideways and and stay under four thousand until the announcement, and then boom, the SEC announces Ethereum ETF has been approved, and boom, here we go, right? And then ethereum just skyrockets up into 4,000 4,500 5,000 you know plus and, and and it gets going right and then everything and that means shiba inu is going to get going because when ethereum's up shiba inu goes completely nuts as you can see right so so um and uh and anything under anything in the ethereum chain goes nuts with it right so um, so a lot of the other tokens would, would go Jasmine and all these other tokens would go completely nuts as well. Right. So that's going to be a good thing. So if Ethereum does ETF is approved, 
on the 23rd than expect the markets to go completely nuts to the upside, right? And give us another 5, 10x run here. And um, things are going to go completely nuts. You're going to see some more zeros drop. But you can see now we, we're under, we're back to 1894. We look, we, we broke through this too. And it looked like we were about to send here. And then Bitcoin gets flushed down again. Uh, from that 70,000, which which flushes us down again. Uh, I wish we had continued to go without Bitcoin, right? So, um, but that was that was really that was really strange. That was really strange that we actually followed Bitcoin to the T here. Okay. So, anyways, that's what's going on. Let's look at the yearly chart, the one that matters the most here, and we can see here we're we're right at that cuffs, right? We almost we it looked like we were about to come up here and break this thing, man. But you know, but anyways. We're at that cuffs and we're looking to break through it, right? And get to the next level, to the next highs, and then get into blue sky territories. Once we break that 305, 306 area, we are we are in blue sky territories, right? And and we could be also in price discovery. Okay, um, and that's when volume should be maximum we should be doing a billion to three billion and three a one to five billion a day in volume and and we could be in price discovery there and things could be looking really really good we will we will we also will be burning a lot of tokens right so um so th that would only fuel it if e if if the e uh etf is approved that will just fuel this thing right so so and we will be burning a lot of tokens right so anyways let's get to ustc here um there it is, and then and then uh, Terra Luna as well. Um, so the USCC is down to three, three, four to six here. All right, and uh, volume is down a little bit, and back to thirty-three million in volume there, and then and then we're down a little bit in the market cap. So yeah, we also popped a little bit here as well last night trying to follow Bitcoin, and you know sometimes it's not a good idea to, to try to follow something else, but. Um, because you just never know the agenda of another token, but uh, I want Lunk USTC and, and and Luna 2.0 to do their own thing. But it is what it is. And also, look, we went to 116 up here as well. So, all right. And then before we came back down, right, you got demolished there. So you follow Bitcoin, you, you got to pay the price, you know, as well. So the good times and bad times. All right. So uh, you can see everything here. 108 there for Terra. Luna. All right, so let's go to Galaxy Station and check out what's going on. Um, for some reason, Terra Station is not giving us any proposals in governance. So, um, except for the Phoenix thing, I don't know what that is. Uh, we're we're not dealing with that. So, and people were saying that the uh, Terra uh, Terra dot money uh, was going through some more upgrades, some fixing, some bugs, whatever it is. So. That is what it is. So let, let it go through with stuff. They they, they updated the Web3, and they're gonna, you're going to have some bugs and some stuff that they have to fix and stuff. So let them fix all that, and hopefully governance is working properly next week uh, once they fix all the bugs and everything, because right now we can only see governance stuff on, on here. Um, unless you use a mobile, unless mobile, unless the... Unless the uh, Terra dashboard, Web3 dashboard is working properly on mobile, and you're able to see all of these proposals on there, then cool. But if, but on the dashboard, on the, on the desktop, you cannot, right? So uh, you can't see these proposals. So let's go over them and see what's going on. Genuine lab security package um, upgrades are passing with flying colors, and it still has three days left. Wow. So we still have three days left on that one, and, uh, and this one still. I wish we can just uh, look. It's already. It's gonna pass. There's nothing you can do. We should be able to end it. We should make. We should have a proposal where you can. If something is like this, you should, you can be able to end it at right now, so you don't have to wait three more days, right? Um, and then, <clears throat> excuse me. And then this one um, is is uh, ending in three days as well. And this is failing with flying colors right now. Uh, that's to reinstate the five percent commissions for validators. And then frags update um, v two point four point two is passing with flying colors as well. And it doesn't end for another four days. I wish we could just end this one as well because it's passing and it's and with flying colors, right? So um, for some reason, I wish we could end these things early. So and we don't have to. You know, look at something that's fully gonna pass here. 
All right, um, let's get to Stake Ben here and check out what the burns are looking like and what the validators are doing. And see if any big changes here. Not much action going on today on Lunk. Yesterday night, last night was action. Bitcoin hit 70,000 again and Lunk was going up with it. And so was USTC and, and Luna. And things looked like we were about to ascend to the, to the moon there. And then all of a sudden, we got rejected. And uh, everything got, Bitcoin got rejected at that 70,000. And everything comes crashing back down. Right? Um... All right, uh, let's see here. So 66 million in burns today so far, and we got 1.3 billion in burns this week. All right, so there you go. What's the, what was the difference? Yes, last week was three, three, three billion. Okay, so 1.3 billion. At least we're still in the billions. All right, uh, and then here's USTC. Today we're at 35,000 burns so far today. One million burns this week, and then last week we had 804 million burns wow what a difference a week makes there um all right so and then here is staking and staking is trying to hang on for dear life here as we are continuing uh we're at 979 which is 14.4 percent all right so that's what it looks like there for staking let's go to the community pool and check out what's going on 11 million in the community pool 11 million one nine one and you can see everything continues to go to the upside here and then we have lunk at 4.58 billion all right so we have money in our community pool we have money in our in our reserves which is a good thing which gives confidence to the to the bulls gives confidence in new investors as well um, that if anything goes wrong, we have money to, to cover it, right? We have money to cover uh, things that go wrong, right? So that's good. Good news there. Um, let's go to stats and see the stats. We we only lost $25 million in staking. So, okay. And then uh, USDC burns 43000 And then $77 million in the last 24 hours here on the burns here. Uh, okay. So let's go here. Min cash burn 10000 in the last 24 hours, and, um, and then this person burned two, and then Terra Casino burned a million, DF Link burned 600,000 plus, and then the rest of these guys are burning. We don't know who these people are, apparently, so um, if, if, you, if you have a name, if you guys have names, you can put it in the memo, okay? So if you're burning Lunk or you're burning USDC, if you want to show tell people who you are, you don't have to, but if you want to tell people who you are, just put it in the memo, right? There's always a memo. Um, and you can just put it in the memo, you know, if you if you're part of the BIA community the burn it all community then put burn it all right burn it all validator and give us credit for it, you know, uh, give Brad credit for it. If you're if you're not if you're somebody else if you're spicy Mike put it in there. You know what I mean? If you are wiggly jiggly then you know you put it in there right so then you can get your names up here um, who you are right so um, all right. Uh, Let's check out the validated Vegas. 416 million delegations came to Vegas, and we have Jesus Lord 2, 245 million, and then 8 Moon, 191 million to lead the way there in delegations that come through. Data center problems, losing another 200. I don't even know what this is. Um, and, um, and then all nodes uh, lost 220 million. And then NITAWA lost 181 million. Orion as well lost 176 million. Moon Rabbit again losing. <laughs> okay. Um, and that's about it for that. Let's go down here and see. Uh, Hexagon missing 635 signatures. Ouch. Actually, go and get on it. Baron, what happened to Baron? Baron B Burner, you guys are missing 500 uh, signatures. Get on that. Get on that. Get on that. Get on that. You don't want to be missing signatures because then that means you're not earning, you're not receiving your staking rewards, right? And the people that are delegating to you are missing out on staking rewards there. So get on that and, and uh, get those things fixed, guys. Okay, so let's get to the validators and check out the top 100 validators here that secure the blockchain for the Lunk community and, of course, the USTC community and the Terror chain. All right, so let's see here. All Nodes, number one. Orion, number two. Interstellar Lounge is number three. 
And you can see there's a battle here between Interstellar Lounge and, and Interstate 1 now. Interstate 1 is number 4, and they're right next to each other. They could flip at any moment here. So that's interesting. And then you got KuCoin pulling. Well, KuCoin did come up a little bit, but now it's pulling back a little bit. But still at 5, number 5 there. Top 5 is KuCoin leading the way. And then number 6 is Stakely. Number 7 is User Lord uh, Validator there. And then number 8 is Happy Cat Crypto. Number 9 is Luna Station. Number 10 is TCB. All right. And and of course, Moonshot is trying to get up in that top 10, and TCB is holding them off. <laughs> All right, so here are the rest of the validators. Some of them are good, some of them are bad, and some of them are in between. It's up to you to decide who is who. And hey, look, Jesus Lord 2 is in the top uh, 22, number, uh, and that's pretty good. And uh, Lucy we'll Dow, we haven't heard from them in a long time. They're still in the top 25. That is. Kind of embarrassing, but okay. Uh, <laughs> just, just how powerful they are, I guess. Uh, DF Lung at 32, and they used to be a top five. That's crazy, right? Uh, how how things change very quickly in, in in blockchain. And Vegas is at 35 now, and you have top 35 now. Terraport in the top 40. Uh, Hexagon is now number 41, and you got Baywatch at 45. And uh, fresh staking at 48, uh, burn it all validator at 49 in the top 50, and then the nut round up the top 50 is eight moon. There you go. All right, and then you got moon rabbit dropping out of the top 50 there, and the rest of the validators here. So, hope you guys enjoy your Sunday. See you guys tomorrow. Peace out, God bless, and the rest of the validators are here. All right, that's it. Peace out, God bless. Hope you guys are doing well. And uh, interesting that Lunk decided to go with Bitcoin. It usually doesn't do that. Um, and then, the, and of course, when Bitcoin failed there at 70,000, uh, Bitcoin then saw some selling coming. And then Lunk also saw some selling coming as well. Um, so that's pretty interesting uh, that Lunk decided to go with Bitcoin there. It usually doesn't do that. So um, I hope Lunk doesn't do that in the future. I, I don't want, really want Lunk to be... Um, matching Bitcoin. Uh, I want Lunk to do its own thing, and that's what it's been doing. So I wanted to go back to doing that. Just do your own thing, uh, Lunk. Don't don't follow Bitcoin. You know, yeah, Bitcoin's gonna go high, and Bitcoin could go to a hundred thousand this year, and of course, two three hundred thousand next year. Uh, so that's good overall in the, in the long run. But I want Lunk to do its own thing. I want Lunk to be its own chain. It, it has its own chain. It has its own validators. It has its own people. We should not be following Bitcoin. We should be doing our own thing. So, so hopefully we go back to just doing our own thing. I'm not sure why Luna 2.0 follows Lunk and and USTC uh, so closely. I know I'm not sure why, but they do, right? So, so Luna 2.0 follows Lunk and USTC very closely. When we when it goes up, it goes up with it. When it comes down, some a lot of times Lunk and USTC are bearish as well. So I'm not sure why they're connected like that, but. For some reason they are. All right. And hopefully we get some more news of Doquan as well. Um, you know, heading towards South Korea. And hopefully they can remove his gag order so he can start talking again like a human being. He's not an animal, right? So that's crazy. Anyways, <laughs> peace out, God bless. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.